Lee McCall and the whole team, they hooked me up with a great car. It was amazing. And uh, we got out to about 15 car lead, they were saying in the beginning, and uh, just kind of put it on cruise control. Just started riding, saved the stuff for the race, you know. It's going to be a long race tonight, and uh, just got to keep the car underneath you. And I learned it this first race, you got to really watch out for the guys. It's such a tight track, you know, there's nowhere to go. So uh, it's, it's going to be a big part of the race tonight, just surviving. Just for survival's sake, you need to be up in the front. It's going to be really big. Uh, but then again, I think the track races better than it looks. Um, there's going to be a lot of crossover moves tonight, that's that's for sure, and a lot of bumping and hitting after it. So uh, it's, it's going to be an actual packed race. That's both are racing pretty well. I was surprised, you know, how good the racing actually is because this is a totally different racetrack than we, you know, anything. So um, I think our our car handles really well. So uh, you know, I didn't. I screwed up shifting, you know. To third and then to fourth on the original starts, so I fell back, and then uh, you know the car was great, so we worked our way back to the lead. And, um, I'm looking forward to the 150 lap race. I mean, it's gonna be tough to save your brakes, but um, you know, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see how it all works out. Well, I think if you get a car that's handling good enough, you know, like ours, you know, track position really doesn't matter. As you, you know, can see, I think I fell back to fifth or sixth, and then you know once I got to fourth, I had to chase down the guys in front of me, and then uh, you know. I, was able to get underneath all of them, so um, you know, cars handling.